Now, let's get to your claim very quickly. You never signed a contract. No, sir. You say that from time to time, during the five months that you worked there, yeah. you would be paid. Yes, sir. Nevertheless, despite receiving nothing, you mm. carried on working into the next yeah. month. So you How, don't to be quiet. How much did you receive in January? In the month? Yes. I would say... Like, £100, £120, hundred and twenty pounds, should I say. Yeah. Again, you carry on working into the next month, yeah. despite having only received £120. Yeah. How much did you get in month three? Nothing. Like, £20. That's true for you as well, isn't it? Yeah. Almost nothing. Despite this accident, are the two of you still working in this man's shop? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But that's only simply because he's our friend. So if we see you as yeah, a friend... Yeah, but how can we be we friends when you guys you? are lying like this? You two are friends, we're not friends. Are, are, uh, are you going to sit down and lie to me and tell me... I'm talking to the judge. Friends. No, I'm talking to the judge. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You're suing Nekwan and also, by extension, Reese over there, for damage to your car. Now, very simply, you gave both of these young people your car in the most negligent circumstances imaginable. They drove the vehicle, they caused the accident, any damage to the vehicle they have to pay for. It's as simple as that. And the car repair total is £1,500, both in law and in fairness. That has to be repaired. The rest of your claim is absurd. That you have suffered as a result of this accident, and especially your no claims bonus, is entirely your fault. That you're going to have to pay one month's tax is entirely down also to your negligence in letting these people take your vehicle. That you have to pay £40 to get a taxi to work is not my problem. Get your alarm, get up early. The rest of your case is dismissed. I now turn to the counterclaim, Reese Nequan. I don't know what the commercial relationship was between all of you. The problem is, neither do you. Because whatever the arrangement was, there is no certainty, because none of it is in writing. Yes, I suspect there probably was some promise for some kind of payment. The problem is, you showed up not just one month where you got nothing, but a second, a third, and even a fourth month. Mm -hmm. So you must have been under the impression that something was coming to you. Because I, in law, can't confidently say what that was, yes, I can't rule in your favour for either of you. Mm -hmm. And therefore, your case in its entirety is dismissed. However, I do award you £1,500. That's what's called a Pyrrhic victory. Look it up. Thank you, Judge. Calvin was awarded £1,500 of his original claim. Defendant Nakwan's counterclaim was dismissed. Let's find out how both parties felt about the judge's ruling. I can't trust them. You know, they've known each other for longer than me, so they can sit and plan, you know what I mean, and come and tell me whatever they like. I can't go on with people like that. For the people that know us and that know us on outside, they know the truth, do you understand? So they can see that he's lied and he's just made it seem a certain way. When you crashed the car, why didn't you come and tell me that you was the one? Why should I? You, well, obviously you I? crashed it, innit? Well, regardless of what we told you, you got the truth in the Fam, end. you made Reece so lie as well. No, he too, no, no, I didn't make nobody do nothing. clearly lying. Why would we carry on working for months and months if With we're not... no pay. If we're not going to... If he's not promised and said that, oh, it's going to soon pick up and we'll be able to... You understand? I can't believe they lied like that. I can't believe and make up a story. At the end of the day, I didn't promise them that I was going to pay them. For more Judge Rinder cases, click here. And if you've got a legal issue yourself, get in touch with us by clicking over here.